the summer showdown changed a lot about how we view the league. With a meta that strongly favors a pack, and one that does not seem to be going away anytime soon, we saw some breakout performances. So, I thought this would be a good time to do a bit of a recap of the region. We'll start with the ugly. The first team is the Philadelphia Fusion. 1 and 3. They went 1 and 3, only beating the Gangzo Charge. It seems like so long ago that they went 4 to 0 and nearly took Hawaii from Shanghai. And now they can only beat Gangzo? And it doesn't stick with the summer showdown. In the past two tournaments, their only victories have been against Gangzo twice and Los Angeles Valiant once. They even took up one of Los Angeles Valiant's two map wins. They have a lot of issues. I'll be doing a video breaking it down tomorrow or on Thursday, but some glaring issues I am seeing are, lack of player flexibility, due to many hero pools overlapping on this team. Questionable coaching decisions including trying to force ball and Somba comp when it clearly isn't working due to having no really good ball or Somba players, and forcing Eco onto Tracer. Carp onto Somba Reaper and seemingly Rascal onto Mare. No real good Echo player, and Funny Astro being more or less a Lushio one trick. I have others, but I want to make a separate video on them. Overall, they are not just ugly but hideous at the moment. The next ugly is the Los Angeles Valiant. They won zero maps this time around. The next ugly I would say is the Gangzo Charge. While they did almost beat Seoul, Seoul were clearly having an off day then. They got swept by a struggling Philadelphia and Chen D, and did a toilet bowl worthy game against New York. They are just simply way too passive, and it's a mess to watch. The DPS pop off though, and overall they haven't looked flat out awful, but they just can't stand up to the rest of a pack. Next on to the bad, and the first bad I'm going to say is the Hangzhou Spark. They beat a New York team that has consistently beat them for the first time, but they were beaten fairly handily against Seoul and Shanghai. It wasn't all bad, though. Xu and Shai are still insane, and honestly considering it is Shanghai, they put up a decent fight. They just can't seem to hang with the top tiers, and that has been proven this time around. They didn't even make knockouts. The next bad is the Seoul Dynasty. I don't mean to say they are bad, but they disappointed me. I think they are a bit too over-reliant on DPS carries, which is generally fine when your DPS are profit and fits, but when they don't, you're screwed. This was evidenced when they beat Cheng Di and bodied Hangzhou in the first week of the showdown, but then got bodied by Seoul and nearly bodied by Gangzhou. Hell, the only reason they beat Gangzo is because Prophet decided he didn't want to lose. The rest of the roster looks a bit weak, at least compared to the DPS most of the time. Not to say they have no redeeming qualities, but their tanklin has looked non-existent and while creative can pop off Animo hasn't impressed much. They are still insanely good, though. You don't go five maps against Cheng Di without being good. They just need to work on adaptability and practice the hell out of the new ball meta. The first good I'd say is the New York Excelsior. Joe Nake, Flora and Guang Boom popped off, and Cleo's performed very well against Philadelphia as well. They are definitely improving. I'd say they are solidly better than Gangzo and Philadelphia, hell maybe even Hangzhou, but unfortunately this rush was too late as they are likely out of post-season unless they have several upsets. But until then, these guys have a good chance of making knockouts yet again. The next good is obviously, the Chengdi Hunters. Man did these guys dominate. With a meta almost perfectly tailored to their strengths, they managed to dominate even Dallas and Seoul and make Shanghai sweat. In their first game, at least. They looked a bit shaky in the regular season but after being the runner-ups in the summer showdown and the meta seemingly being the same on top of having a fairly easy schedule, there is no reason I don't see them locking in the second seed for playoffs. As for their roster, Leave is now an MVP frontrunner, Jin Mu and Daveltal are absolutely bonkers at the far mercy, both Gunaine and Amon have incredible balls, no homo? And Monk is looking like a top 3 Zinyata. I expect them to dominate both in the Countdown Cup and potentially even the postseason if the meta sticks. Then there's the Shanghai Dragons. 
If you've seen them play, you should know what I'm talking about. Best DPS in the world, top 3 or arguably best tank line, arguably best support line. These guys are unstoppable. With Dallas disappointing and Cheng Di being dominated by them, there is literally no team that is a real threat to them. They are terrifying. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe for more. I am trying to hit 100 subs by next season, so any subscription helps greatly. Thanks.